got my appropriate gear because it's cold outside. Stupid winter came early, and I'm gonna begin to disassemble this front end. All right, so I'm gonna begin taking this thing apart. I got my bag for my bolts, about to have my music, and you're about to fast forward. So as you can see, a lot has happened in a split second. Man, I love editing. It's so easy. Stuff falls apart. So uh, I got the, the evaporator canister out of here. I didn't need it. It's a diesel now. Don't need emissions because it's diesel. And it was full of rust too, so junk. And yeah, this is goes to the, the house circuit. It's unplugged, so I'm not going to shock myself. This is the app. Man, words. As you can see, I've got these nice lines drawn. I'm going to cut this portion out and over here as well, just to free up some room for the radiator. And one thing I didn't forget to mention is this thing leaks oil really bad. Um, as you can see by the, the axle is coated in oil and just all around, just gunk, gunk and gunk. Look at that. Just nasty. So I'm going to reseal this thing. Uh, I think it's the front um, front main seal. I did the rear main seal on this one. And the, oil, the lip of the oil pan is leaking as well. So we'll, before we button her back up, we'll tackle those. So that's where I'm at. I'm going to hack this thing out. That opened it up quite a bit. So now that radiator is going to sit in there nice and get adequate airflow. So I'm excited about that. And don't worry, this is going to be braced up when I weld some tubing from here to here to support a battery. And I'm going to change the battery mount over here as well because this is just a hack job. Yeah, that's that's stupid. I'll do the same thing. Tubing, braced across, and support the battery that way. And it'll look a whole lot better too. I really need to find a diagram because these one. This, I know this is like air conditioning, temperature, con temperature control, and all that other BS. So that's cool. I'm so glad I got this opened up. And just working on the van again. Ah, that's nice. All right, so that's a that's a wrap for today. Pretty much just deconstructed it. Um gonna look up some wiring diagrams so I can get that that mess over there cleaned up I've got I did find some more rust rust is always exciting so in the fan hole there is a hole in the bottom of it so I don't know how I'm gonna patch it but I'm gonna figure out a way to and of course that spot and one up here that's from the drip like when it rains is from the, it drips down and that's what caused it 
over 30 years, so we'll figure that out. I just got to do some thinking and some researching. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to look at the wiring diagram and go from there. If you want the build to continue or have any suggestions, comment down below. Subscribe, like, share. You know what to do. Alright, peace out guys.